you know, I can't just do what spiritual people do and just go full on into their things because I went crazy. I don't want to go crazy again. Unless I'm around crazy people, if I'm around mainstream people and have to go to a mainstream job and try and try and make conversation with normal people, which I think doesn't go very well. <laughs> can't do it. You know, you know what happens? It's so weird. Like, if I'm around someone that I can't speak my crazy with, like, just deeper, you know, not crazy crazy. It's not like I need to talk about aliens and stuff with people. I want to talk deeper philosophy and stuff. And I want to talk about the various mysteries, the mystery, the events, the, you know, how to improve this planet and, or, you know, how to improve our own lives and personal development, that kind of stuff, you know, it's not really that crazy. It's just, it just isn't mainstream. It's, so it's funny because I don't exactly call myself a light worker, but they have the same ideals. It's sort of like stepping into a place where I'm most likely going to resonate with like minds who are here. They, they do want to work on themselves rather than blame other people. They do want to help each other. They do want to become part of something that is meaningful, that helps people or the planet. So in those ways I am. And in my spiritual little, you know, because those doors are, you know, so many, so many different spiritual ways of looking at things with no way of validating them, you know. So those ones are just, they can't be placed in. So it's like, okay, non-mainstream, I still want to be able to live true to what aligns with me because no one really has given themselves permission to do that. Maybe for generations. I mean, people do, but they're not the majority. And so I, I do believe that we're here to do that because I'm looking around now like I'm just just ants, so busy. I've been talking to different people with very big issues, very big problems, whether it's wanting to commit suicide or being um, raped by their father or having to leave an abusive situation and not having anywhere to live, having surgery and not being able to work. And this has been something that I've been, it's just been in my mind for decades, is that it shouldn't be like this. It's like the, you know, when they used to put the people with leprosy on a different island just to get them out of the, it's the same. It's like we've conformed, we've created this system. Now it's like impossible to live without conforming to the system and I'm really just interested in finding ways where those people don't have a shit life just because the system doesn't have room for them because they can't do what the system requires them to do to live. It's a mess and no wonder they're so depressed and so angry and so in despair because there's just nothing for them because the system doesn't work for people like them. I just think we can do better. Like, we're looking at the problem and going, well, this is, like, crazy. You know, it, this is crazy. Even my sister is, you know, selling a house now. She's going to have to downsize to something really small to be able to live in this suburb where she works. And just the prices of property and things like that is... I mean, this is just a normal person who does work. And she's going to be a slave to her job for the next rest of her life. And um, the kids will probably suffer too because they'll have to go to before and after school care and... You know, they're going to be in their jail while she's at work. And I know I shouldn't look at it that way. And I hope that it's just not as bad as what it sounds. I feel like if I'm not doing something to be part of the solution, when I'm looking at, you know, the game from this perspective and seeing how it's all got to this point, you know, from whatever I know, and going, well, we can do this differently. We just need to get on board with other like minds because it's very difficult to make any changes by yourself. You can still do it though. I know people who are. But imagine, you know, if there's thousands and thousands of you working on solutions while the others are busy doing their ant thing, we can come up with solutions for them so that they don't have to do the ant thing for their whole life.